journey solo is is a new feeling, and um, you know I'm up for the challenge. Uh, I've been through moments like this before in my life, so it's not new. Uh, but what it does is it really challenges me to focus. It challenges me to always be on my A game. I don't have somebody to turn to uh, that is obligated to me the way that I'm obligated to them. You know, you have friends and everybody's got their role in their places and I, I hold that that friend thing real, real close to the vest so I don't call a whole bunch of people friend. Uh, so I don't have a bunch of those. Uh, but that that one person that's that person obviously uh, I'm, you know I'm dealing with that right now so it is what it is uh, I'm not here to actually talk about that but uh, you know I do want to let you know I'm human and so I go through things like everybody else I just refuse to let anything in my life that happens stop me from being what I was meant to be and so I push on um before I go any further, I want to uh, remind you and challenge you to support uh, the work that I do for the community, uh, for our race, for our children, for our women, for our men, and as a collective uh, work that I've done for over 30 years, work that I've put out so much material. I've created so many programs, I've been directly engaged, so many people that I've helped individually, I've helped schools, I've helped individuals, I've helped families, and I will continue to do so, but we do need support, we do need your help, this stuff doesn't magically happen, it comes from somewhere, and I'm not going to get into all that, but I want to again challenge you, and, and while we're on that note, let's talk about why I'm here. I want to be very clear, and a sister of mine in, in, in the fight said this, and it just hit me so hard that it identified a feeling that I was holding and I didn't really know how to explain or express it, because you know I'm that person, I'm, I'm versed, I want to go into great detail and and explain everything comprehensively and, and cover all the bases when sometimes it needs to be something that just simple and direct and this is what I have while it is my Rick Wallace and the Odyssey Project's uh, purpose to serve the community we are not indentured to it. Me nor my organization is enslaved, indentured, or obligated to stretch ourselves to the point of uh, destruction to meet the needs of the community. It is out of my love for my people. It is out of love and passion uh, for the, and, and desire for my people to rise to see the full potential activated and actualized in my of my people. But there are some things that have been said to me over the last four to six months that gives me the idea that I owe somebody something that only belongs to me and my progeny. And yeah, at the time that I become married again, my wife. But I am given to a passion to serve my community. I am given from my own will and desire a passion to go out and go hard and to invest of myself both emotionally, psychologically, in time and money to the community, to my people, to the children of this race, to the women of this race, to the men of this race, to the elderly uh, uh, of this race. I'm given to it. I am not indentured to it. I don't owe anybody to sink my ship out of some twisted idea that it's my response. It's my responsibility to be the best person I can. It's my responsibility to live to the fullness 
of my design. It is not my responsibility to sink myself and the future of my children trying to do something for people that obviously don't even realize that they need it. I will continue to be a voice. I will continue to serve. I will continue to give, but I am not going to do it as if I owe anybody anything. I owe my family, I owe me, and I owe my children. And everything else is out of a love I have. And the, the idea that the people who are pouring their hearts out and giving of themselves in ways unimaginable to the struggle, oh, the struggle, is absolutely asinine and it's that mentality that has kept us at bay because when you think somebody owes you something, you don't see the value in them giving it to you. There's a lack of appreciation for something. It, it's taken for granted when you think somebody owes you something. As I move through life, there's not a soul that I look at. That I think owes me anything beyond what I earn. I don't ask of anybody to give me anything beyond what I've earned. That's time, that's respect, that's commitment. If you don't think I've earned it, don't give it to me. Now, if you don't give me what I feel I've earned, I can tell you that you will not be consistently in my space because again I have a right to protect my space but I'm not going to beg somebody for something that I've earned and I'm not going to ask for somebody for something that I don't deserve now with that being said until we get to a point to where we see the sacrifices of our people, people who are actually out here putting in work, giving blood, sweat, tears, and money, and everything else to this fight, until we see them for the blessings and gifts that they are to the heart, to the struggle, to our race, we are lost, because without the capacity for gratitude and appreciation, there's no, op that there's no capacity for growth can't become stronger when everything is owed to you. That, that goes for children and your parents. That goes for spouses. That goes for anything. If you can't see the sacrifice and understand that that person that sacrificed that goes. Uh, mosquito uh, season. Just great. Uh, anyway, Hopefully it got out. Um, if you can't see that, if you don't gain the capacity to understand when somebody's giving something to you, it's coming from somewhere. It's coming from somewhere deep. It, it's coming at a price. It's coming at a cost. And if you can't see the need to appreciate it, if you think they owe you to take out of themselves when there's nothing coming into them. Now, if you're pouring into me, I, I owe you the reciprocation of that energy, of that level, of that time, of that money, whatever it is that you're pouring into me, you deserve equal return in some form. And it should be a communicated understanding of what that form is so that there's no unmet expectations. One of the problems we have is we don't communicate, we don't commit, and we are lacking in, 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 in our understanding of what we are supposed to be delivering, what we're supposed to be receiving. And it is com it's co coming at a major cost to the struggle, to the fight for independence, liberation, freedom, power, and a future for our children. I, I want to be very clear here. I go hard in the paint in what I do. And I'm doing this while still running a business. A business that in many ways 
funds the vast majority of the work I do. And so the idea that I owe anyone but my children and my wife and anybody I consider family that I'm, I, I'm responsible for. The idea that I owe anybody that just because is ludicrous. And, and not that I need to explain it, but I want to be clear here because I want the people who can get this, who can grasp this and understand why it's a problem are the people who will actually make progress in life, not just in the struggle of, for black empowerment, but in life in general. The idea that somebody owes me something that I have not invested in to receive a return is one of the problems that keeps us at bay. It keeps us failing and falling and missing the mark. I am right now just sitting here thinking about exactly where the mind has to be to think that's okay. I just needed to really get that across. There's so much that we could do as a people if we stood and we understood uh, the ability to work together, to come together, to be willing to give, to be willing to serve, but to, to be willing to serve and being obligated to serve are two distinct things. They're not the same. And so what we've got to understand is when someone is out doing something that we benefit from, we have to be willing to be appreciative of it and understand that we don't deserve it. It's not owed to us. It's something that by their grace and their love and their commitment to something that's obviously bigger than them, they're giving it. And so I'm challenging you to stand up and, 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 and understand that. Uh, you know, I don't need you to understand it because I'm going to move the way I feel I need to move regardless. So, but I want to, you know, I care enough about my people that I will explain and talk about the things that matter to me. I won't sit idly by and I'm going to leave it and I'm going to continue to love my people and keep them move on because I understand a lot of things that go on. Again, I've written about it book after book after book, article after article, thesis and essay and dissertation now all after one one after another writing this stuff and then taking what I've learned and and, and disseminated and creating solutions and and, and program I've done this and I will continue to do it but I'm going to do it in a way that doesn't destroy me that doesn't diminish me that doesn't break me uh, because what I, what I'll find is I, I'm, I'm broken and nobody's there to help me man I don't owe anybody that. So on that note, look, I'm going to get ready to get out of here. Like I said, for the people who believe in the work I do, back me. For those that don't, my question is, why are you hanging around? That I don't get. I don't get that. If you don't believe it, I'm not investing. Life is too precious and too short to invest time in something I don't believe in. To give energy to something that doesn't stand or cut the mustard for me. I'm not going to do it. And if I believe in something, I'm going to go hard for it. Because I understand that real true value is hard to find in this world. And so I'm going to get behind it because I want to see it thrive. I want to see it push. And this is what I do for a living. And maybe I'm expecting people to rise to the, a level that they do the same. But what I will tell you is I'm not going to let you break me. No, on that note, look, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to get out of here. You guys have a good day. If you want to support the work I'm doing, go to the description box. Look in the description box at the top and give. On that note, I'm out of here. You guys have an unbelievable remainder of your day. Yeah. Yeah. They said I should give it up like it. That just ain't good. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special 
announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time. You know, outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse. Uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you. I'm free to be free.